finding the critical path on a project network. For an example, I will be working with this activity assuming as a project schedule. Say, I will be constructing a project network, doing forward and backward passes, determining the project completion time, calculating slack values and finally stating the critical path. I will be using this node convention here as you will find in quantitative methods. A. Here is the activity being described, and T represents the expected activity duration or time. ES is the earliest time when the activity can start. F is the earliest finish time. LS is the latest start time, and LF is the latest finish time without extending the minimum completion time of the project. Activity A and B have no predecessors, so they can begin at the start. Activity C needs A to be completed before it can start. The needs both A and B to be completed. E needs D, F needs C and E and G depends on E. Since F and G have no successors, they go to the finish. So here is the network with the activity nodes, displaying the letters and times. So, let's do the forward pass. A has no predecessor so its earliest start time will be zero. Since it has seven weeks to be completed, its earliest finish time will be zero plus seven which gives seven. B also has an earliest start time of zero, and with an activity time of nine, it will have an earliest finish time of nine. Now C needs it to be completed before it can start. Since the earliest finish time for A is seven, then the earliest time C can start is seven. And with an activity time of 12 weeks, C will have the earliest finish time of 12 plus 7 which gives 19. D, on the other hand, needs both A and B to be finished before it can start. Since the earliest finish time for A and B are 7 and 9 respectively, and D needs both of them to finish in order to start. Then the earliest time D can start is 9. In other words, the highest of the earliest finish times preceding an activity will be the activity's earliest start time. So D finishes at 8 plus 9 which gives 17. E here has only one processor D, and so E can be started at 17 and finish earliest at 26. F has predecessors C and E since the higher earliest finish time is 26, F can start earliest at 26 and finish at 32. G also can start earliest at 26, since it has only one predecessor, E and G can finish which gives 31. You have to note here that although G is the last letter, it does not have the highest earliest finish, because F has 32. So we can say that the project's completion time is 32 weeks. In essence, the project's completion time is the highest of the earliest finish times of the finish note. Now, let us do the backward pass. Since the project completion time is 32 weeks, the latest finish times for the activities of the finish node, F, and G, has to be 32. That is, F and G cannot be completed in longer than 32 weeks. Now, we would obtain the latest start times by subtracting the activity times from the latest finish. For G, the latest start time will be 32 minus 5, and that gives 27. For F, the latest start will be 32 minus 6 and that gives 26. Now E has two successors, F and G their latest start times are 26 and 27 respectively. As a result, the latest time for E to finish is to be 26. In essence, when doing backward pass, the latest finish time of an activity must be the minimum of the latest start times of its successors. Thus the latest start time for E will be 26 minus 9, which gives 17. Now D has only one successor E so the latest finish time for D will be the latest start time for E, which is 17, and the latest start time will be 17 minus 8, which gives 9 for D. Activity C also has one successor F therefore, CS latest finish will be 26, and latest start will be 14. A has two successors, C and D, and the minimum of their latest starts is 9. So the latest finish for it will be 9, and its latest start will be 2. Activity B has one successor D, with the latest start of 9. So the latest finish for B will be 9, and its latest start will be 0. And, here we have completed calculating the backward pass. Now let us see the slack for an activity is defined as, how long the activity can be delayed without extending or increasing the project's completion time, and it is calculated as, ls minus es 
or LF minus F. So the slack for a will be 2 minus 0, or 9 minus 7, which will be 2. The slack for B will then be 0, for C it will be 7, for D is 0, for E is also 0, for F is also 0, and for G is 1. For example, activity C can begin any time between week 7 and 14, and it can finish any time between 19 and 26. Thus C can be delayed for up to 7 weeks and the project will still be completed in week 32. Activities B, D, E, and F, on the other hand, cannot be delayed at all, without extending the project's completion time. So for example, if D is delayed by 2 weeks, then the project completion time will be extended by 2 weeks as well, for 32 to 34 weeks. The activities with zero slack are called the critical activities and they form the critical path, which is the longest path in the network. So the critical path here is B, D, E, and F respectively.